Hello my YouTube friends, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson where I'm going to teach you on how to model the reinforcement on your floor in Revit structure. Now if there's anyone who doesn't know or who would like to know on how I model this building that we have here, please make sure that you check the card above. That is the lesson for free on my channel where you can learn modeling of this frame, you know, step by step. All right, I also want to ask all of you, please don't just watch my video, like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and also share with your friends. And if there's anyone who'd like to join me in a detailed course in Revit structure, step by step on a complete project that includes modeling and detailing, please make sure that you check the, the description, the link is there, and also the first comment. So without wasting time, let's begin in this lesson. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the slab where I'll be placing the rebar. Right, so I'll go to level three, right there. Just by double clicking on level three there, you can see that we have the floor here. So to place rebar on your floor, it's simple. You just select on the floor. Once you, cl once you click on it, you are going to see that under the reinforcement, you have this option called the area reinforcement. Just click on it the screen will be grayed out so this is where you can sketch the boundaries of your slab and under the properties here once you click there that is the structural area reinforcement make sure that it, it's the way it is then we have properties here the layout rule and we are going to look at these options later on as you can see from here all right so the first thing again you need to notice that we have these options here we have ribber line major direction we are need to, to define the span direction so you just, you just need to make sure that you are on ribber line and now you can use any of these options to help you sketch the boundaries. I'm just going to use this option pick lines and I'll simply just make sure that I pick all the edges of my slab. So make sure that you pick one on each edge. Then later on we are going to trim our edges there. So just pick one you don't have to connect it at this point we are going to use the trim tool so i'm just picking the edges pick that edge pick that edge this one and that one now you just need to go on top here you see that we have the trim or tr on your keyboard click on it and now just you know pick those lines to trim the corners all right as simple as that make sure that you don't leave out any edge as otherwise when you try to click on finish you are going to have an error and you need to go back and make sure that all the edges are closed you need to have a closed loop all right so we have this one and that one that edge and that edge let me finish the other ones this one and that one and make sure that you don't pick this edge if i try to pick this one and click there it's going to remove this part so i hold ctrl z make sure that you pick this edge and the line where you want to the line to remain so that you trim like that pick this one and that one i think we have a few edges okay we are done once you do that you notice here that we have double lines here it just shows the span direction you can change it by clicking major direction if you want you can pick this one but for me it doesn't matter maybe let me pick this one where it was okay so you can see that we have trimmed all our edges and we have sketched the boundary now you need to come here we have the layout through you click there and you're going to use maximum spacing all right we have additional top if you want to add some additional top cover there you can or an offset you can but we just need to go to the most important options in our case. Let me just place the case there and drag it like that and also expand this one so that I can see what I'm working with. Okay, so we have the top major direction. You make sure that you activate it. If you deactivate it, you notice that the, all these other options are grayed out. So on the top, I want to have the ribber and I want to use H16. You can pick from there then the top major hook if you want to add the hook you can add it from here but i don't want to add the hook in my case the top major spacing you can change it from there maybe i want to have 200 as my spacing top minor direction also activate it we are still at the top it will be 816 and i want to have 200 there 
then we come to the bottom right here bottom major direction we want to reinforce this lab both at the top and at the bottom i'll use h16 and what is this bottom major hook type we don't want any hook so i'll leave it bottom major span direction now you can even you know just expand this one so that you are able to read properly just like that so that you can even expand this one by just placing the cursor there once it changes like that then you can drag it to make sure that you are able to read the entire line all right so we are here the hook we don't want uh bottom major spacing again we want to change this one to 200 make sure that you do it according to your design bottom minor direction h16 and the spacing this is self-explanatory now you can go ahead and change all these okay so all the options are selected according to our design both at the top and at the bottom and now all you need to do is to click on the green check mark as you can see right now i'm going to select this one and just try to isolate it because if i just go to my 3d view you notice that i've selected that but what i want to pick is just the reinforcement and the slab so i'll go to filter check none i'll pick the structural rebar and i'll pick the flaws structural error reinforcement structural error enforcement symbol and this is all apply okay so as you can see i've just selected that now let me just reduce this one so that it doesn't get in my way so this is what we have then i'll click on this option here selection box or bs bx on your keyboard i'll click on it and this is what we have because i want to be seeing what is happening here okay perfect now i just want to you know to make sure that the rebar is you know solid here i can select everything here or maybe let me use a power pack detailing tool if you want you can select everything i have to show you also other power pack detailing tools of course i have a course on power pack detailing so you can join if i want but i want to use revit tools just click on filter check none i'll pick structural rebar just using revit tools apply okay i've selected the rebar now if you're using py revit tools just click on uh view visibility states don't tell me that no i don't have power pack i will need to show you also the revit tools so that you can proceed if you want so i've selected like that and you can see that the rebar is solid you can check to find level of detail and let me go to maybe shaded so you can see that i have the rebar like that both at the top and at the bottom all right now let me ask for those who do want to use power pack detailing all right or who are using power pack detailing let me do ctrl z just like that to show the bars are solid you can go to power pack detailing here then we have rebar visibility just click there then we can show all reinforcement it's just a click there oh, so let me just go back once again don't disappoint me show all reinforcement and oh where is that option just a moment river visibility right here click on it okay that is the option then i'll click on this option here and click on okay perfect so now we can have the river like that as solid so with power pack detailing it's just one step you click but with revit you have to go there and now show what you want but all the same this is what we have right now you know you notice here that if i select on this this is area reinforcement i can go back and start making changes here if i want to change maybe this to 350 i can change because the area reinforcement is still there so you have to pay attention you know if i select on it that is the area reinforcement if you remove the area system it means that you can't change anything from here okay meaning that you are breaking you know the parametric nature of the area reinforcement but that will help you also to make further you know adjustments All right so if i select on this one you notice here that i can't make any changes here unless within the area reinforcement but if i want to adjust these one by one i can remove the area reinforcement if i move the case area select on it i can remove area system let me click on that 
you see what is going to happen click outside now these river sets once i select on it i can now start changing these river sets one by one as you can see so i can select on this one and now maybe i can now have an option to change to whatever i want maybe even correct these maybe 200 click outside and i can do the same on all these because now i have the possibility of playing with these one by one all right so as you can see this is how you can quickly place your river on your slab you have the river there if i go to level three let me cut a section go to view and click on section there click the first point drag it down the second point click outside zoom in here and double click the head we just want to see our river there okay you can see that if i zoom in that is the reinforcement on top and also at the bottom so this is it this is how you can create reinforcement on a slab in revit see you in some upcoming lessons